While on a vessel, there can be an emergency situation called man overboard. Simply speaking, someone has fallen overboard from your vessel or from another vessel near you. In today's video, we will mainly focus on maneuvers required to tackle the man overboard situation and we'll also briefly touch the general actions in this situation while we are at it. The first action would always be to raise the alarm. The signal for the man overboard is the same as that for the local emergency stations with the addition of sounding Morse code OSCA on ship's whistle and light. The action to be taken will be similar regardless of whether a person has fallen overboard from own ship or a person from another vessel or craft is seen already in the water. Anyone seeing a person in the water should immediately throw a life buoy as close to the MOB as possible and raise the alarm. The best practice in such situation would be to post a lookout who should keep the man overboard in his sight. The emergency squad will muster at the emergency headquarters and then proceed to the boat. Life jackets will be worn by the boat crew and a spare life jacket carried for the casualty. A deck officer will take charge of lowering the lifeboat. The chief officer will be in charge of the boat, usually. An engineer will be in charge of the boat engine and the boat crew will be the members of the emergency squad. Practice has shown that different man overboard maneuvers may be required depending upon the situation prevailing and the types of the ship involved. The effectiveness of these maneuvers has been proved in many man overboard casualties, including the following situations. An immediate action situation, when a casualty is noticed on the bridge and the action is initiated immediately. The second situation is a delayed action situation. A casualty is reported to the bridge by an eyewitness and the action is initiated with some delay. The third situation is a person missing situation. A person is reported to the bridge as missing. When a ship makes full speed ahead, the following three standard maneuvers are used. Number one, the single turn, that is 270 degree maneuver. Rudder is put to hard over in an immediate action situation only to the side of the casualty. After deviation from the original course by about 250 degrees, the rudder to the midship position and the stopping maneuver is to be initiated. Second maneuver would be the Williamson's turn. The rudder is put hard over in an immediate action situation only to the side of the casualty. After deviation from the original course by about 60 degrees, shift the rudder full to the opposite side. Where heading is 20 degrees short of the opposite course, a rudder to the midship position and ship to be turned to the opposite course. The third maneuver will be the Scarno or Sharno turn that is not to be used in an immediate action situation. The rudder is put hard over. After deviation from the original course by about 240 degrees, the rudder hard over to the opposite course, and when heading 20 degrees short of the opposite course, rudder to the midship position so that ship will turn opposite course. While we are at it, let's talk about the effectiveness of all of these maneuvers. In an immediate action situation, single turn will take the ship back to the scene of the casualty most quickly. Williamson turn requires more time and will temporarily take the ship farther away from the scene of the casualty, but it's nevertheless effective. Scarno or Sharno turn is not appropriate. In delayed action situation, Williamson turn will take the ship to the scene of the casualty most surely. When the ship has reached the maneuver commencement point, search speed must be reduced so as to enable fast stopping. Sharno or Scarno turn cannot be carried out effectively unless the time elapsed between the occurrence of the casualty and the commencement of the maneuver is known. In a person missing situation, both Williamson turn and Scarno turn will take the ship back into her wake. Less distance is covered and thus time is saved when carrying out Scarno turn. When the ship is on opposite course after carrying out a Scarno turn or Sharno turn, the maneuver commencement point will be some ship's length behind her stern. Depending upon the type of the ship involved, between 1 and 2 nautical miles may be saved. Since standard man overboard maneuvers are not guaranteed to return a ship into its wake, these turns should be regularly practiced to account for the particular ship characteristics and the effects of the environmental conditions on the ship and the person in the water. And based on what we have discussed until now, the best maneuver that could almost cover all situations is Williamson's turn. That's why it is most recommended maneuver and that's why it is practiced during drills so that everyone is fully familiar with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and today you must have also learned why the Williamson's turn is most recommended and why is it used in all the drills. And I also hope that you must have learned something out of it. If you did, then press that like button and hit subscribe. Don't forget to press that bell icon and get all the updates whenever I upload a new video. That's all for today. Stay happy, stay safe, 
एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग